Down south of old San Antonio is a country that God left alone. Where the cactus has thorns and the deer grow big horns, weather is usually warm. Where the coyote howls and the panther he prowls, rattlesnake grows six feet long. People who live there have always had their share of working themselves to the bone. I'm Mary Bones. I'm the director of the Museum of the Big Bend here at Sol Ross State University. And I've been at the museum for over 20 years. I started as a curator of collections, then moved to a curator of temporary exhibits, and then I became the director in 2018. To walk into this wonderful historic building every day is one of the best feelings I can imagine here at Sol Ross State University. This museum was built during the Texas Centennial. It was dedicated in 1937, and it was through the efforts of the Work Progress Administration, the citizens of Alpine, Sol Ross uh, students, to create this historic building. And then I get to walk into one of the best venues to learn about the Tri-County area, Jeff Davis, Brewster, and Presidio counties under one roof in an exceptional building. So the Yana and Marty Davis map collection, yes, is considered one of the premier map collections in the state of Texas held by uh, institution of higher learning. And what makes the Davis map collection so unique, it's considered to be the most comprehensive survey of the U.S.-Mexico border. And what also makes this collection truly special is that when Mr. Davis was um, going to school at uh, SMU as an under, undergraduate, he was allowed to go into the archives and he was allowed to hold original maps in his hands. And he wanted in every student, every researcher to have that same experience he had. Because he, was, he told us, you know, when you get to hold that map in your hand, you're holding history and you're a part of that. And so he was very specific when they were working with us to give this collection to the Museum of the Big Bend and to Sol Ross State University, that students and researchers could have that same experience because it opens up all kinds of avenues into interest, into history, beyond just looking at that map, but also looking at them as beautiful works of art. This past year, the Museum of the Big Bend has really been honored to be recognized as one of the top 10 Western museums in the United States. And I believe that the reason the museum has been recognized and is being honored is because of the quality of the exhibits that we bring uh, to our public and to our visitors here at the Museum of the Big Bend. For over 30 years, we've been combining custom cowboy gear and contemporary Western art in our annual exhibit and sale, Trappings of Texas. We've been doing it uh, for the longest of any museum in the United States. So we, of course, uh, honor and recognize our ranching heritage. Uh, ranching is important uh, to the foundation of Sol Ross State University, as well as to the Museum of the Big Bend. But we also bring photography exhibits into the e museum, as well as other exhibits exploring various aspects of the history of the area. So the, we are extremely excited. The Museum of the Big Bend has launched a major uh, capital campaign to build a second building. Uh, the museum complex um, will be a 12,000 square foot building uh, that will be physically to, connected to our historic um, Museum of the Big Bend, Texas Centennial Museum. We are so fortunate. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Emmett McCoy, Mary McCoy, really took us to the next level in our capital campaign um, by donating $5 million towards a $10.5 million capital campaign. So we are so thankful uh, to Mrs. McCoy and her family for this incredible gift. Uh, they have been excellent friends to the museum. Uh, the new museum complex will um, have an art gallery, uh, a wonderful cultural center and a permanent exhibit space, the Ray Foster exhibit space, that will exhibit the El Paso artist Tom Lee's historic um, 
paintings of the history of Western beef cattle in America. We have uh, partnered with the Dallas Museum of Art for a loan of these paintings, and we thought it was most appropriate. We're in ranching cattle country, and to have uh, El Paso native son right up the road, have his paintings here at, in our new uh, museum complex building, we thought was most appropriate. And we're just very excited. It's going to be a wonderful expansion for our museum. This uh, museum complex will be a wonderful addition to Sol Ross State University, especially having space in that museum to exhibit uh, work um, and uh, collections that are owned here by the various departments here on campus, as well as a cultural center that can serve a variety of needs. And then for our Big Bend community to have such a beautiful building where they can come and enjoy all kinds of cultural events and see beautiful world-class exhibits. We're really thrilled about it. So we have had, the museum has had a long and good relationship with the Alpine community and I also think the Big Bend community as well because we're the repository of people's memories here at the museum. And so we have built upon, it's you know almost a hundred years of a relationship between this museum and our area friends and uh, neighbors. Yeah, you chased Mucho Vaca with Goliath and Riyadh, and we were in Ogalhain.